What's up guys, welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig and we got a lot to go over. I'm gonna also, at the very end of the video, make sure you stick around. I'm gonna show you the chart that nobody wants to talk about. Um, it is the BNB chart. I know a lot of people are thinking that Binance is too big to fail and I'm not saying they're gonna fail, but I am gonna show you what the charts are telling me. Um, I showed you guys this about, uh, I think last week or the week before I started talking about it. Definitely something we need to look at. But before we begin, make sure you smash those thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. I do daily updates Monday through Friday. Members videos uh, once a week. You can join by hitting the members button down below. Let's get into the chart, see what's going on. So <clears throat> as you guys know, yesterday, we talked about this being a possible ending fifth wave diagonal. We've been talking about that since last week, right? Well, it does look like it's possible the Dow has topped out, but there's always this chance of one more little pump to retest this top trend line up here. Again, that doesn't have to happen. I showed you guys yesterday, um, if we got one more little spike up, if, let me get this out of the way here. You can see the higher highs here, lower highs here. That's bearish divergence, so that looks like a reversal of the trend. And the trend is up right here on the daily, but it's down in the big time frame, right? We've been talking about this also, the hidden bearish divergence right here. Massive hidden bearish divergence we're making. We can even go off this level here, any one of these levels, higher lower highs in the price section, higher highs in the RSI, right? That is hidden bearish divergence. The trend is down, hidden divergence is a continuation of the trend. So hidden, so if you have, you know, you're in an uptrend, you have hidden bullish, then it's, you know, a continuation of the bullish trend, but we are in a downtrend in the weekly, and it is a continuation of the downtrend. Uh, let's take a look at the DXY. So the DXY, we've been talking about getting below this 200 EMA is not a big deal. As you can see, if we look at it on the daily, uh, it does look like it's trying to pump up here. Let's see if we can get back above the 200 EMA at 105.71. Once we get above here and get support, then I believe the dollar takes off. Like I said, the 200 EMA right here on the dollar, this purple line or whatever color, as you guys know, most of you know, I'm colorblind. Oh, one more thing. Um, Today at 4 p.m. Eastern, definitely come check out our spaces. Uh, we do it every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern. It's the Four Bare Naked Horsemen. Definitely come check us out. Um, anyways, looking back here, you can see we always dip below this 200 EMA and it gets very bullish after that while in an uptrend. And I like to show the 80s back here. Talked about this plenty of times. We get back below here in a parabolic run, right? we always get below the 200 EMA, get a major bounce and continue to the upside. As you guys know, my targets for the DXY are much, much higher. Um, if you guys are interested in trading, definitely check out Prime XBT. Links down below. You can also use my promo code SAVVY50. That'll get you up to a $7,000 bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. They're not the scammy exchanges that you get the big scam likes. They don't trade against you. Uh, they are A book exchange. Make sure you know the difference between A book and B book. B book trades against you. So anyways, you can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, pre-markets, post-markets, all from one exchange. You can have multiple trades in longs and short. They don't clump them all together like scam exchanges. Again, that link's down below. There's also a tutorial on my YouTube page. I'll leave it at the top of the video or at the top of the, yeah, I'll leave it at the top of the video at the end of the video. So as you guys know, we talked about this, right? Every time we make these big lows here, we have not come back up to retest it. We came close, and usually it's because most people are waiting uh, for a, either a break of this or um, a retest to get back in a short. We never really got there right here. Next drop, we never got back up there. If we zoom in, we can see we did not get back up there. And where we're at now, we did not quite get back up there. That doesn't mean we can't come up here, but as of right now, still looking majorly bearish. If we do get above this 17.5, I had told you we could possibly go to 18.4. I don't see it going much higher than that. If we get above 18.4, then we can start looking for some bullish trades. I know a lot of people are talking about dollar cost to average. You don't wanna miss the bottom. Well, you're not gonna find the bottom of a weekly, monthly, yearly downtrend in a four hour or a daily, right? And a lot of people are trying to do that. It's um, not how it works, guys. If this was the bottom, it would take a long time to play out, right? We'll play in this area for a long time. I talked about this um, possible descending triangle here. 
uh, this being an ABC down, ABC up, another ABC down. Now, if we pass this, so if we get down here and get a bounce off this 15.3, 15.4 area, we may come back up to retest this again, right? If we do that, we'll probably have another downside. So we could be in this area for quite a while, maybe another couple months or, well, actually this month, I think this will um, eventually break down. So the 15.3, 15.4 area, once we break down, as you guys know, my weekly target has been for months, 14.5. I still believe we're headed there. Uh, I do believe we'll probably get a bounce there and I'll show you that in other charts. But once we break this area, the measured move of this triangle is about 12.6, 12.7 area. We do have much lower targets, but as of right now, this is what I'm looking at, right? Now, that's not to say we can't get up. Like I said, get one more little pump up. But guys, everything is looking super bullish. I've been talking about this for over a year. The biggest money grab in history, right? Every little pump in the markets are just to get exit liquidity to take your money. But yet people want to keep putting their money in and losing it, right? We're going to talk about some other stuff. I talked about this rising channel and the RSI being a bull trap up here. Seems like that's what we got, right? So we put a trend line, let's put a trend line over here. And this is the area we need to break to continue to the downside. And it's gonna be somewhere in this area here, right? 16.4, somewhere in that range. Once we break that, um, we'll probably get an ABC correction like I've been showing you guys, come down here. Maybe we might even come down to this area before going down somewhere, something like that. but. Either way, we're still within this. Nothing big happening here, guys. Nothing has changed. Also, I showed you yesterday the hidden bearish divergence, higher highs in the RSI, lower highs in the price action in the daily. Looks like we're ready to turn around, come back down. Again, my weekly target's at 14.5. Uh, then we have, looking at this bigger triangle, uh, 75 to 8,500 range. Now that, I don't think we're gonna see till February or March. I've explained this many, 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 many times, right? Uh, my ultimate bottom will be sometime in the middle or end of next year, uh, being you know 35 to 4500. I'm still looking at that. Now, could that change? Yes. If we start breaking our uh, 55 EMA way up here around 27,000, obviously this continues down. Once we break that, then I may start to look a little bullish. But what I want to talk about is this dollar cost averaging that people have been telling you to do since up here, up here. So most likely you're underwater, right? I am looking for this area. Now, if I'm wrong, no big deal. I'll get in up here, but I would much rather wait for this to get down in these levels than to buy here and lose more money on the way down, right? Yeah, of course, if I, if this comes up here, I won't catch the bottom, but if it's going to new all-time highs, uh, what is 27,000 You know, compared to 17 or 14 or 15 or whatever, right? I'm much safer to wait for a reversal of the trend. The trend is not reversed. I'm not interested in any long-term hodl position or anything like that until we get to these lower lows or we invalidate this chart, right? So this is the 14.5 weekly right here, right? That's just a break of this rising broadening wedge. That's why my target has been and remains at 14.5. Now, um, looking at the monthly, you can see this monthly RSI. Everybody wants to focus on the weekly. Well, Bitcoin's a lot older now. I think Bitcoin has just been in one big bull run with the traditional markets for its whole existence, and we are first time seeing a traditional bear market. And I think it's going to be a really bad bear market. They're going to take a lot of people's money. Be careful, guys. Biggest money grab in history is playing out in front of us. I know a lot of people don't believe that. Um, and I could be wrong, this is not financial advice, but I truly believe that we are seeing the biggest money grab in history, guys. Be careful. We talked about how bubbles pop, right? You get a big drop, everybody's paranoid, then it gets a little rally up, everybody should have sold but didn't sell because everybody was bullish again, only to make a lower low over and over and over. And how many of you have held leave in the comment section down below how many of you have held because of all these youtubers screaming you know dollar cost average the bottoms in and then each little rally you think it's going to a new all-time high just to make a lower low right um we've all been there there's nothing to be ashamed of but hopefully you'll learn from this right we've also talked about over here in the amazon compared to dot com bubble that we started talking about on december 2nd we look at this weekly RSI, right? Once we get above this weekly RSI, everyone will get extremely bullish. I think that'll be sometime in February or March, just like right here, get a fake rally, 
one that's the the false bottom right it happens in um all bubble pops you get a big rally this might be a hundred hundred and some percent remember i said we could get down to as low as 65 here for this february or march either way i think we'll get a hundred percent rally if not a little more into april or june and then a continuation to the downside towards the middle or end of next year what will that look like the false bottom will be indicated once we break this rsi weekly rsi trend line just like we did out here right right there everyone will get bullish because that's a weekly trend line in the rsi broken bullish as hell it will be bullish temporarily because that'll be a false bottom and then continuation to the downside right so looking at it in the big picture um this is my 10-year plan i'll let you know if it changes but this would be a bottom sometime middle or end of 2023 35 to 4500 getting a big rally for the having cycle but every having cycle this is going to change everything it's not going to go to new height all-time highs in the having cycle in my opinion uh 2025 may get up to 35 45k so a 10x um even if you're not like trading trading and you're just buying and selling or um in the long macro get rid of it up here uh, buy back in a 14 to 25,000 range, which would be a, you know, you would have more money from selling up here to buy back in, uh, to middle of 2028, ride this up for a, you know, five X up to 58 to 65, somewhere in that range at 2029, sell again, come back again. Um, nobody knows for sure what's going to happen, but if this does play out just like the Amazon compared to .com bubble did, be careful guys all right this is the same chart and then we're going to look at a scary chart for uh some people but charts should not scare you guys uh unless you're just hoping to buy and hold and get rich because it's probably not going to happen be careful in the altcoins guys i do believe there is some bad bad things coming for them all so um anyways here's the bitcoin chart on the weekly here's the amazon weekly as you can see, nothing has changed. Uh, before we go into the BNB chart, I wanna show you guys. Now remember, there's no guarantees here. I'm showing you what the charts are telling me, but definitely, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure you check out my wife's webpage. Make sure you smash those likes first. Check out her webpage. That's inkyourimage.com. She has a lot of crypto stuff on there. Um, she can put family pictures or whatever on glass, like all kinds of stuff, whatever you want on any of this stuff, definitely check it out. Um, it's ink your image right here. I N K U R I M A G E dot com. Link down below. So here's the Binance, the BNB compared to the FTT chart. You can see what happened here, right? When FTT uh, finally admitted to insolvency, uh, we can see what happened. And that happens in big drops, right? So right now, I think we are in the same pattern. Now, this chart looks a little bit different because this is on Binance, right? This one here. Um, and they didn't put it on there right when it opened. So it started down here, just like this did over here. Uh, they actually took that chart off of trading view. I don't know why, but it was the one I was using. So now I had to use the Binance one. But nevertheless, you can see the same formation here. Um, Binance looks by the charts, looks to be in serious trouble. So just be careful out there, guys. Uh, nothing's too big to fail. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash those thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Binance is in serious trouble or do you think it's just a uh, FUD? Anyways, thanks again. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button and uh, share the video. Get it out there if you enjoy these videos, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Take it easy, I'm out.